Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve a delay when you're right clicking on an item or file or folder on your Windows 10 computer. So this tutorial is going to be very straightforward and we're going to try to go over it as quickly and efficiently as possible without getting anybody lost. We're going to start um, by just giving a little disclaimer that you have to be logged in as an administrative account in order to proceed. So you have to have administrative privileges. So with that out of the way, we're going to head over to the Start button and we're going to right click on it. And then we're going to left click on Run. Now what you want to do is type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and then left click on OK. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. So now the first option says H key classes root. Left click on the little drop down arrow next to that on the left. And now you want to go down until you get to directory. So keep in mind it's not going to be in the lowercase section with a dot in front of it. Just please keep that in mind, you're going to have to really scroll down this list here in order to get to directory. And we can see we have it right here. And now we want to left click on the little drop down next to that one as well on the left side. So click this little arrow. And now what we want to do is click the little arrow next to background. Again, same thing we've been doing. We're going to click on the little arrow next to shell EX. And then left one little drop down arrow next to context menu handlers. So depending on what graphics driver you have, there are different options that we're going to have to delete here. So if you're using Intel graphics, there's going to be two different entries we're going to try and delete. It'll be the last two in this list, the IGFX CUI, as well as the IGFX DTCM. If you're using NVIDIA graphics, there should be one that says NVCPL desktop context and you want to delete that one as well. So in any situation you're probably not going to have all three of them. I mean it'd be very unlikely unless you're using multiple graphics cards on your computer. I just simply added these folders here so we could have a visual reference to what you guys would be deleting. So if you guys see any one of these three here just delete them. So I'm just going to delete that one and delete it again delete that one and then I'm going to delete the last one in this list as well. So hopefully once you're done with that you should be able to close out of your registry editor and you should be good to go. I'd also recommend backing up some changes to your registry. That's always one consideration but you could also actually export some of the settings that you're changing so if you want to back it up it's probably not a bad idea but it shouldn't really cause any harm for us at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.